What's up guys? It's Jazz here, but you don't really care as you may be wondering what, what, what? What's going on? If you know the game then you very clearly don't know or you do know what's going on But we are now Tails, not without his mech legs, not with his mech legs, but now with not a flying uh, Tornado 2 or whatever his device is, but a driving one. We are on a mini little racetrack that's completely impractical for Apparently taxis, but hey, they go everywhere. They're way too underpaid. Maybe I, I don't actually know the economy of the Sonic world. We are after the president. We're chasing after his limo in order to do some important stuff with him. And with it means we get this nice little bin, uh, mini game, mini game of racing along this little mini track. There's no one racing against us, but we do need to just get there as fast as we can with the 88 seconds that they give us, which is very easily uh, doable. You can also press Y to get a boost every now and again when you get enough rings. I also can't quite get the turning to happen. Come on. There we go. This makes it a lot easier to actually turn corners, though it has that horrible screeching the entire time because the sound design is not the best of this game. Hello! Welcome to Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, this blue is going to give me a boost. Thing. It didn't. There we go. Maybe it's every 60 coins or uh, rings even. Who knows? Give me this! Yes! Power boost! Well, who knows, actually, that was just... 20 ring and they gave me another one. Who knows? Anyway, let's get her going. Do I have any stories with this level? Not really, no. Um, I think I remember doing like the mini game challenges to get like an extra emblem and struggling. And even then, not really. I don't have experience of doing this multiplayer rebuild. So, come on. Just a few more minutes. Like 99 seconds and it's frozen on because I guess we've beaten it. I imagine it's going to go down eventually, but it caps at 99 seconds. Also, I love. I love the car physics in this game. You also saw it in City Escape, but it's just, you touch a car and it just bounces miles away. It's perfect. Okay. Every 50 rings? Oh, you know what? I'm not going to question it with the boosts. Yeah. It's funny, actually. In real life, I am terrified of cars. Like, logically, I should be. Just, you know, cars are, like, probably a leading cause of death in the world and whatever. But, like, I don't know what it is. I just... I'm so uncomfortable around them. When I'm in a car, if it's not a trusted adult, I'm just really nervous about the driving abilities. And whenever, like, there's a there's a pavement in uh, my, my town that's really, really long and really thin, everyone loves walking along it and being really reckless. And I'm like, you're going to get run over if you take, like, one half step to the left. I just... Ah. I hate cars, they make me nervous, and it's ironic because I'm playing a little car video game. I'm probably never going to drive a car simply because I hate them. It's walking and trains for me. Or limousines with a very trusted chauffeur. Yeah, Speaking of, here's the president. That's why I came up with the idea. The line of thinking. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Regnet? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we, Mr. President? I won't bore you with all the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? <laughs> Sonic Man Empire. Yeah, right. What the heck's going on here? Don't oh, no worry, no. Mr. President. What did you Everything's do? under control. Just leave it to us. Got it, Tails? I got it! He's transmitting from the space colony R. Okay, let's move it! Wait up, Sonic! Hey, you, wait! Mr. President, we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, 
I saw that Batgirl go inside with him as well. Well, you saw them too, right? Well, yeah. We should be able to get into outer space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that cannon and then kick their Imperial all butts. All right. I'll go and find the entrance. It feels like it's been ages since we've done a Sonic level now. Wasn't the last one Metal Harbor? That was a that was in prison. We've now Sonic! Doesn't it feel like we haven't done a Sonic level in ages? Like seriously, the last one was like Metal Harbor, and that was when we were back in prison. Like now we've escaped prison, raced our out on the streets, done our fun thing over there, and now we're in the uh, the desert. Like come on, Sonic, up your game. Oh well, this is actually a good little section, this pyramid section, because it does use each of the three characters doing different aspects of the mission. Like, we've got Tails here finding the entrance. He's got to get into the pyramid, basically. Which is very fun. And then Sonic and Knuckles will come in later, which we'll see a little bit later in the story. I like it. It's a nice little simple, like, here we go. This uses all of the characters. They're all working together rather than just happening to be at the same place doing their own thing, you know? I like it. Right. I don't remember where anything is in this level, so let's... Uh, no, I don't... You know what? Actually, okay. So I'll take the cheetah. I really appreciate the cheetah's kind of run ability to give. You know what? Alright, fine. What's in here? A skunk. What a wonderful finding. Is that it? That's apparently it. Okay. The doors get treated by your actual bullets, not like your laser or anything. You don't lock onto them. It's just the little pellets that come out. Oh, it's hard to turn around. Oh, same with the uh, big uh, box that we barely saw. That's the thing there. It's nice that we got a chowkey now. Didn't even know it was there. Just... I don't know. I just saw the door. Uh, most of this seems pretty simple to like work out, like, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's really my nostalgia or just my, like, logic that makes me find the secrets. I haven't, I don't think I've found all the secrets in the game so far, but I could be wrong, dude! Well, that's a shame. Sonic! Okay. Sonic! Okay. Okay, we've still got the child key, so I'm, I'm happy enough. Do it again with less death? There we go, come out first, then I'll kill you, there we go. And I, that was depth perception. I'm sorry. There we go. Wait till you see a shadow or something. I don't know. And not that shadow either. Just another shadow. Oh. And get rid of all of you. Oh, what a combo, right? I hope so. Not that the points really matter that much, but it's nice to do. It's just and it's just satisfying. Oh, I love these sections because you can just spin around, get a ten-person combo. Apparently, it's just oh, good stuff. All oh, right, I don't think I've ever actually heard that before or seen the extreme symbol, so that's cool. Um, there's totally more secrets around here, right? No. Okay. In that case, I'll just go through that block there. Um, there's a cheater a bit here, right? Okay, I guess got left out to the wild. I like how these like Eggman Sphinx or something. It's a funny little attention to detail to me. Ah. Yeah, I guess that counts as a shortcut. Um, is it something this side of the place? There's just more of this. Uh, what's in the pipe? Penguin! Why is there a penguin in the desert? Oh well. Orbanauts, classic Sonic enemy. I swear they appear in like every game ever now. Like, Sonic games just have them everywhere. I love them. They're like the only Sonic names I actually remember. Legitimately. Right. Give me all these. I guess this is now going to take me a real bad detour to get back to. Oh no. It's not too bad. Ugh. Lovely. Do I have a story with this place? Actually, no. Um, like, I remember the place well, but I don't think I've got a story really connected to it. It was mostly Pumpkin Hill, City Escape, and Metal Harbor. Maybe some levels later on, like in the, like the final ones, maybe? But otherwise, yeah. This was just a generic level. I liked it a lot. I had a lot of trouble. Not a lot of trouble. I really enjoyed all the monkeys around here, because you just get combos on all of them forever. It's just really fun and entertaining and satisfying. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I have to say on it. Let's just get through like normal. Um, something that I've been wanting to mention as a dumb little thing since actually starting this recording session is a really weird question for you. What drink would you associate with this game? What drink do you think would be appropriate for me to be drinking alongside playing this game? Maybe some normal juice, some energy drink, a chocolate to get me all energized? No, the answer is milk. I'm drinking milk as I play this to wait to like, you know, make myself actually be able to talk for a long period of time. Mostly because I've actually just run out of all other drinks, and actually I've now 
finished my milk. I've just got a mug of milk left to be all that I've got in the house now. But still, it's just funny because like this is not the drink you would associate with this game and this Let's Play, and yet this is all I can taste in my mouth right now. Just milk because that's all I'm drinking right now. After this uh, episode, I'm gonna have to have a lunch break, I guess. I best guess I also better go shopping to get some something a bit better than milk and some food would be nice too. But oh well. <laughs> Maybe a sausage roll, because, I don't know, I'm getting a sausage roll vibe from this place. I think it's the sand texture makes me want to have something like, some sort of pastry. I don't know. Is it is it weird to ha like have associations of food and drinks with locations? Maybe not. I mean, like, I don't know. With games, maybe it's a bit weirder. Oh, look at that shortcut. Pro. I almost died from being too reckless there. Ah. Here we go. Super combo time. Which I already messed up because I gave up half it through, thinking that I'd done it too early. Here is this. This is super combo time. Here we go. Nope, they're already dead. Okay. How? Why? Oh well. This is the end. Give me more bonus shootings. Okay. And the score, jamming. I did it. Lovely. Look at that, A rank. Which I believe gives us an extra emblem? No, no it doesn't. All right, never mind. Here we are, finally another Sonic level, taking us into the pyramid. So it was Sonic's job, uh, Tails' job even, to get into the pyramid, and now Sonic is going through it. I still can't time that very well. Okie dokie, let's try this again. Oh, what is that mean? Curve bits this that I can't do in this port. I have no idea. Oh, big death staring pendulum. Anyway, the whole mechanic of this place is these hourglasses that I can't activate. There we go. It will open the door for a moment, and we don't need Omo Chow to explain it, but I guess we're going to get it anyway. Thank you, Omo Chow. That was very needed information that we totally couldn't decipher on our own. The whole thing is basically slightly time-based. you got to just do things slightly fast if you can. Uh, like this as well. You get platforms for only a limited amount of time, climb the top. I usually try to avoid this section, though I also just failed this time, but also the chow key was there, so I kind of had to do it. Oh well. And, hello, Gamma. Goodbye, Gamma. Seriously, these guys look like they look like Gamma. Seriously. That's a weird sentence. You know what? Ignore it. But now we get the bounce bracelet. Do it multiple times, you get extra height, and now you can get extra level reachings. I'm not actually sure if it's that applicable outside of this mission, now that our memory serves right, but you can now destroy crates underneath you, which is what we couldn't do in earlier levels, which has sort of stopped us doing some things in some places. Gamma, get out of here. Thank you. Oops. There we go, somersaulting will get you under it, although that time it definitely looked glitchy. This time we now have a key, which you need to put in a place to then open the door. Just put it anywhere on the platform and it will eventually roll into the right spot. Bouncing is also really good for grinding, just because it gives you that immediate extra speed for some random reason. And what you want to be aware of now are ghosts. They will slow you down. Not good for a time-based level, I think. Hey, it's all hazard. hazards to them. Right, here's the big one. We need it. For God's sake. No! Dude, that was the perfect... Whoa, I don't know what I was latched onto. That's almost ghostly. Here we need a key to get through this door. You'll never guess where it is. Uh, back here apparently? No. I can't get on the railing. Come on! Oh, Lord. Okay. Let me do it like that. There we go. Oh wow, this camera is not agreeing with me. Here we go. Oh. The key is way on the other side of this corridor. We gotta take it all the way back successfully. Let me get rid of the ghost first, thank you. Oh. And run. As best we can at least. 
gosh, this control stick really doesn't agree with me. You can just see by the way Sonic's moving. It is it is me, but it's me trying to fight the control stick to get it to do that, you know? I don't know. Anyway, here we are. A slightly annoying little detour. Speedrunners usually just glitch right through the wall, which uh, through the door, which makes it a lot easier. Otherwise, alright, Ghost, you can get out of here first, because I know you're gonna be an issue. Thank you. We now need to get to the other Oh, you're infinitely spawning, seriously. Dude! Alright. Can I, uh, wait? I'm gonna have to wait on this. There was only two anyway, it wasn't infinitely spawning? That sucks. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. There we go. Right, let's do this faster now, without a ghost that's annoyingly in our way. Just get to the other end of the cool You See, you saw we got a lot of time, or at least you might have seen it if you looked at the time in the corner. There are still ghosts in the way, which are gonna give you a problem, but just be good. That's all you gotta do. Be good. Alright, I'm not good. Don't be me. How are you falling backwards on yourself? Ugh. Get me through, thank you. Alright, you can't just speed dash through them all. Good to know. And we didn't even need to somersault. Here we do. Nice. Big circular loop de loop. You know, I don't actually have much of a story with this one either. It's odd. I guess I was just playing this at a boring time of my life where nothing extra terrestrial was going on at the time. Although also, earlier in the level I was like when I was playing the game as a kid, I was playing it alongside my childhood friend. I was playing it at theirs, probably playing their version of the game. At this point I probably had my own version. So just played it in my room silently to myself, so maybe that's why I don't have as much a story. I really wish I didn't have to do this, because there wasn't even a, a real benefit from it. I can't even get to this... Okay, okay. It's just harder to do because it's tight. Uh, we might be screwed anyway. Oh, do we have to do this now? Dude! Oh, why won't you move, Sonic, please? Can I just go back? No, I can't. What, what's with these? Oh, never even noticed that before. Never bothered to go way back here. Damn it, this is, this is an impossible, this is a platforming bit I don't like. It's just too high, too small. Uh, like, uh, I just can't do it. I can't do it. We're going to be here forever now because I can't do it. Alright, so it helps to actually, when you're turning Sonic, not just turn it in the immediate direction you want to go, but do it like a circle, I've just learned in that one example. Good to know, now I know how to play the game a little better. It might just be for this controller though, not for just playing the game, but who knows. Now when I turn a corner, I do the whole, every angle first. And that will be us done for now. That is another three levels. Barely Tails, made. Tails, and Sonic. But let's see the next cutscene anyway, to see just what we're doing next. And why. You'll never guess who it is. Looks like we're heading toward the center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. Welcome to Death Chamber. Which, again, we're going to be taking on next time. As for now, my name's been Daz. It wouldn't let me pause. You didn't really care, and I will see you in a bit.